In this video, we're going to learn how to set up a deployment step by step. Before we can create pipelines, the platform needs to be configured with the execution engines that will allow us to author and run our pipelines. The configuration process is very easy and we'll be on our way to creating and running pipelines in no time. Let's get started. First, let's navigate to the setup and create an environment. An environment defines where a stream sets deployment will reside and can be tagged to represent the purpose of the deployment, for example, dev, staging, or prod. Give it a name. Select the type, and in our case, we'll leave the default self-manage. Other options are Amazon AWS and Google GCP. We can provide tags and we'll tag it as a dev environment. Click Save and Next. We will leave the optional Allow Nightly Engine Builds unchecked. This is only useful for testing purposes and should not be used in production. Click Save and Next. Environments can be shared with other users and groups in your organization. This allows us to isolate environments, for example, dev versus prod or different teams and projects. We'll leave the defaults here and let's hit save and next. And we'll enable and add the deployment next. Let's give our deployment a name. Let's keep the deployment type as self-managed. The environment should be the one we just created. We will select Data Collector as the execution engine type for this deployment. Let's select the engine version, and let's give some useful tags. Let's click Save and Next to configure the deployment. Here we can add additional stage libraries. Stage libraries are the necessary dependencies for particular origins, processors, and destinations in pipelines. As we can see, there are some core stage libraries pre-selected. We're going to add the JDBC stage library. Click Save and Next. Let's next configure the install type and select Docker image. Click Save and Next. Just like environments, deployments can also be shared. We'll leave the default for now. Click Save and Next. Now we can enable this deployment and generate the install script. Let's copy this script and run it in our server environment. Note that we ran it twice here to run two data collector engines. Let's go to our engines and view our newly created and registered data collectors. They may take a few seconds to show up. Now, let's build a simple pipeline to test our new deployment. First, we'll need to create a pipeline and provide a name and leave the defaults. Then click Next. Now we can configure a pipeline and let's leave the default authoring engine. One of the two engines from our deployment will be pre-selected. Let's save and Next and leave the default share setting. And now let's open in the pipeline design canvas. We'll add two basic stages, one that generates dummy data as the origin or data source and the other stage as the destination, which will be the trash. This will send the dummy data to a destination that simply discards the data. We can validate the pipeline. 
and we can preview it to see some sample data that is generated by the origin. Let's close the preview and test the pipeline. Now let's test the pipeline. We can see the pipeline running. We successfully created an environment, a deployment, and tested the deployment with a simple pipeline. And now it's your turn to set up a deployment in your environment or the Academy Lab environment.